Football never ceases to amaze the fans, sometimes through the beautiful game and sometimes through controversies. 2021 was an eventful year with the announcement of Super League, a dramatic finish to Euro 2020 and all the other European leagues living up to the expectations. So here are the top five controversies from the world of football that headlined 2021. Number five, no Coke for Ronaldo. During his Euro 2020 press conference, Portugal captain Cristiano Ronaldo intentionally put a few Coca-Cola bottles away from the cameras. He then slyly proceeded to pick up a bottle of water and encourage viewers to have some H2O instead. As the markets opened the next day, Coke's share price took a beating, wiping out $4 billion from its market value, all thanks to Ronaldo's gesture. So if you made a loss on Coke shares in 2021, you now know who to blame. Number 4. The European Super League On a fine April morning, the top hierarchy of Europe's elite clubs woke up and decided to form a European Super League in an attempt to rival the UEFA Champions League. The list of clubs included Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Manchester United and Arsenal, among others. The announcement was met with wide opposition from fans, players, managers, politicians and other clubs alike, and condemned by FIFA and UEFA. Much of the criticism was due to concerns about elitism and the lack of competitiveness within the competition. With fans finding their voices, the backlash resulted in nine of the clubs involved, including all six of the English clubs, announcing their intention to withdraw from the competition. Three days later, the European Super League was suspended without ever taking off. Number three, the Champions League redraw. In the Champions League round of 16 draw, Manchester United were drawn against PSG after earlier being wrongly paired with Villarreal before being mistakenly left out of the list of possible opponents to face Atletico Madrid. You could be forgiven for finding it too complicated, but avid fans quickly jumped onto UEFA's mistake as they took to Twitter and made the draw video go viral. UEFA quickly accepted that there had been a technical issue and a redraw was carried out after declaring the original null and void. Number two, English footballers racially abused. England suffered heartbreak in Euro 2020 as they suffered a defeat in the finals, losing to Italy in a penalty shootout. But what was even more heartbreaking was when a trio of English players were subjected to racial abuse by English fans. Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho and Bukayo Saka all missed their respective penalties in the shootout and were racially abused on social media. In an act of solidarity, a nationwide movement supported the youngsters with fellow compatriots condemning the abuse. Three lads who were brilliant all summer had the courage to step up and take a pen when the stakes were high. They deserve support and backing, not the vile, racist abuse they've had since last night. If you abuse anyone on social media, you're not an England fan and we don't want you, tweeted Harry Kane, the England captain. The tweet was massively retweeted and upvoted once again, demonstrating that there's no room for racism in today's times. Number one, Messi pips Lewandowski to the Ballon d'Or. After the 2020 Ballon d'Or awards were cancelled due to the pandemic, it was felt that Robert Lewandowski would make up for the lost opportunity this year. But it wasn't to be, as Lionel Messi took the crown ahead of the Bayern Munich striker. Although Messi broke his duck for international competitions by finally winning the Copa America in 2021, the Ballon d'Or was a closely fought title this year. Many believed Lewandowski was robbed of it. Messi himself in his acceptance speech mentioned the Polish striker, stating, It's been a real honor to compete with you. Everyone knows and we agree that you were the winner last year. I think France football should award you your 2020 Ballon d'Or. You deserve it and you should have it at home. A case could have been made for the Pole, as in 2021, Lewandowski scored 64 goals and made 10 assists for club and country on his way to winning the German Bundesliga, the DFL Super Cup and the Club World Cup. So that was our list. Did we miss something out? Do let us know in the comments what you thought about the video. And for everything related to the beautiful game, stay tuned to Sports Kita Football.